earth and you say, this is what we have done. What work of compassion have you shown? So they not told them. You have to execute justice. You have to show mercy. You have to show compassion. You have to show compassion. But what happened? If we continue to read this, but they refused to heed, shrugged their shoulders and stopped their ears so that they could not hear. They refuse. As you are listening to this message, as you are watching this message, are you refusing? Are you also shrugging your shoulder? Are you also stopping your ears? Are you also doing it? Are you also doing it? So they refuse to hear. Why? They were operating under the influence of the strong man of the spirit of rebellion. They were operating under the influence of the spirit of rebellion. God can be talking to you. And you say, no God, I will not listen. I will not do it. They stop their ears. No, we don't want to hear what God is saying. There are multitude even now. They don't want to hear what the Lord is saying. But God will not stop talking. But the hour will come when you will be in need. In need of comfort. And the Lord say, you do not comfort the, those who are mourning. You refuse to show compassion. You refuse to show mercy. And the Lord said, therefore, that just as they proclaimed and uh, he proclaimed and they could, would not hear, so they called out and I would not listen, say the Lord of hosts. But I scattered them with a wild wind among all the nations, which they had not known. Thus the land became desolate after them, so that no one passed through or returned. For they made the pleasant land desolate. Why must you turn your glory into shame? Because of disobedience. Why must you turn your victory into defeat? That's what happened when Achan stole the accursed things from Jericho. The next battle in Jericho, Israel won. The next battle, Israel was defeated. Why? They rebelled. The Bible said, rebellion is a sin of witchcraft. They rebel. Why must you turn your promotion to demotion? Why must you turn your breakthrough into breakdown? I've been in the ministry for a long time now. For two decades. By the special grace of God. But one thing I learned is that you have to know the same God who gave you the employment. You need Him to keep that employment. You need Him to climb the ladder of success. That's why Jesus said in John 15 from verse 1 to 5. Can you have to go to verse 7? Because in verse 7 he said, if my word, if you abide in me and my word abides in you, you ask anything from my father and he will do it for you. In verse 5 of John 15, he said, abide in me and I in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it abide on the vine. So you too, you cannot do anything on your own. For without me, you can do nothing. Without me, you can do nothing. Listen, you got a breakthrough through prayers. To keep that breakthrough, you need to keep on praying. Because now you need defensive prayers to keep your breakthrough. 
you start climbing through prayers. To keep on climbing, you need to keep on praying. You need to be obedient to God. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Obedience. If we can obey God, 90% of our warfare will be won by us living in obedience to God. This People, they spent 70 years fasting. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh God, 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 oh Seeing all kinds of dreams and visions. And nothing happened. And they got tired. Until they got tired. God said, I don't want, I don't want your, 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 your fasting and your prayers. I want what I want from you. I want your obedience. Do what I told you to do. They will think, no matter how you spend your life praying, fasting and praying, oh God, let this hunger go. Let, and the food on your table that is in front of you, you are not eating it. Will you think it will satisfy your hunger? It will not satisfy your hunger. No matter how the food is in front of me, I'm smelling the food. You must eat it. You must eat it. Recently, I saw someone burning a copy of the, of the Holy Bible. Say because he, the Bible has no power. I laugh. Some people were angry. Oh, this, 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 this one is a case. I laugh. I said, there's no way the Bible will have power in your life if you do not apply the power of the Bible in your life. Even the cloth you are wearing, you need to wear it to cover you. There is no way the cloth will cover you if you don't put it on your body. Let us stop being foolish. And